Alright guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to a brand new squad builder. Today I am going to be showing you a brand new silver team and it's actually insane. It will cost you around 70k and we're going to use the 4-3-2-1 formation. In gold to start off the silver beast team, we are going to go with, I believe he is called, or not bronze, I believe he's called Pazvir. There he is, Pazvir from PSV. He's probably one of the best goalkeepers in the Dutch league. Now the Silicons are gold, I do believe. He's got 72, 72 diving, 71 reflex, 76 positioning. However, his kicking and handling aren't that great. But in terms of chemistry, he does boost it. In the right side of position, we do go with Rekic. Now look at that pace, 73 pace and 72 defending with 76 physical. He links up really nicely with Arias, who also plays for PSV. Now you're probably thinking, George is kind of cheating, you're getting chemistry just by using three players from the same team. Now, the, the squad does change a lot in a minute. Let me go into the left back position. In the left back position, we do go with Castillo from the Liga Bank Bancoma MX. 86 pace. Let me bring it back over to Arias. He had 87 pace. Now, I mean, their defending stats aren't that great, 69 defending I mean he has got high attacking work rate so it's not that great for Arias the Guardian chemistry kind of star on him it doesn't make him that bad though Castillo as well he, I do, he has got high attacking work rates and low defending work rates so they're not the greatest fullbacks in the world for, in terms of defending but they are incredibly fast and they will get back in the left centre back position to complete the defence we do go with Luis Pereira Oh my god, I didn't know this pace existed with centre backs. 81 pace and 74 defending with 80 physical. This defence is literally unstoppable when you play against other sides. The pace you've got at the back is something else. At the right centre mid position, I do believe we are going to go with. Uh, yes, Josh McEachern, the guy on loan from Chelsea. He's not actually that great, but he does link up nicely in this team. 74 drumming, 72 passing, 76 pace. I mean, what kind of attacking work rate? He's only got medium work rates of both attacking and defending. At 5 foot 10, he does win header sometimes. In the centre mid position, we are going to actually go with Molina. He has, he has actually got an injury for me at the moment. Actually, because he doesn't link up with anyone at the moment, but with 83 physical, 72 defending. Do you know what? I, he's actually much better than his card says. I mean, he's only got 57 shot, it says there. But at 6 foot, high defensive work rates, he will get back and he will help the centre backs out. At the left centre mid position, he is one of my favourite players on Ultimate Team now. Carlos Pena. Oh my god. I will do a player review on him, and he is by far the silver bullet. Yep, you heard it here first. He is the silver rude hullet. I put the anchor chemistry style on him at 5 foot 9. He has 4 star weak but 3 star skills, high attacking work rates and high defensive work rates. 82 pace. All of his stats are almost above 70, apart from passing, which is a bit of a letdown, because otherwise he would have basically been parallel with Hullet in those kind of terms. As you can see, like you know, Hullet has got all his stats above 80. But Pena has almost got all his stats above 70, which is ridiculous for a silver. 83 physical, 82 passing, no, sorry, 82 pace even, 73 dribbling, 70 shot, and 70 defending. Carlos Pena, he will cost you 13,000 points, I believe, but he is sick and make sure to try that if you can. In the left forward position, I've just mentioned that we have the silver hullet in this team. This guy is the silver Ronaldo, and you think, what are we all about? He is definitely the Silver Ronaldo. Arroyo is sick. I think that's how you pronounce his name. 88 pace, 74 shot, 75 dribbling, and 74 physical with the sniper chemistry style. Bitch, you ain't gonna miss a shot. Oh my god, I paid 30k for him, I think. Something like that. Attacking work rate, though, is very, very high. So, you know, just forget about defensive. He is all out attack all the time. Just goes, just goes, just goes. 74 physical. His dribbling is so underestimated on his card. He's only got 75 dribbling on there, but he is actually insane. Okay, in the right forward position, we are actually going to go with Ibarra. 
Now he links up really, really, really nicely with Josh McEachran over here. Now, um, he's got a lot of pace. 90 pace. That's pretty much it for Ibarra. At 5 foot 11, you know, he's uh, pretty tall as well, considering he's got that kind of pace. And he only costs 1200 coins. He, you know, he's the kind of guy you'd expect next year, probably have a non rare gold card. And I thought it would be a lot more expensive than this. He has got pretty good dribbling, just like um, Arroyo. But that's kind of it for Ibarra. To complete the Silver Beast team, we are going to go with Enna Valencia. Oh my god. How is he a silver? Enna Valencia's got 85 pace, 71 shooting, 76 dribbling, and 70 physical. As you can see, that is the Ecuadorian trio up front. You know, we've got the Dead Eye chemistry style on Ibarra, Sniper chemistry style on Enna Valencia, and at left ball position, we have got Arroyo with the Sniper chemistry style as well. Oh my god, guys. I haven't got a lot of gameplay to show for you today because I'm kind of rushed, but this is. It's going to be pretty sick. Make sure to try it out for yourself. And uh, yeah, let's get into some gameplay. Oh. 